Good morning, San Diego, and welcome back. Will the sun rise again on the Starlight Bowl in Balboa Park? Here to answer that question and tell us about the organization's efforts are Save Starlight Vice President of Outreach, Carlton Overstreet Jr., and Vice President of Operation, Angelique Garisha. So good to see the both of you. Yeah, good morning. Thank, thank you, thank for, you having for having us. Of course. First of all, I want to thank you for shining light on this historic landmark to San Diego County. Just so many memories of Starlight Bowl. I was there as a kid, and but to see the condition now, it's an eyesore for the county. So hopefully there will be some improvements coming soon. And that's why you guys are here to share about it because this building was built in 1935. Yes, it, it's a historical landmark. Um, we recently learned that the number one most photographed landmark in the United States is Balboa Park. So for this 4,000 seat amphitheater be, to be sitting dormant, um, it's a huge call to action to get this revitalized now. So what happened? Take us back in the late 2000s. In 2011, it was shut down. That it was. So in 2011, the doors closed and it was because the prior lessee, unfortunately, had a lot of financial struggles. They were operating completely out of pocket with all of the shows that they were putting on. And although the crowd loved it, unfortunately, they were not able to sell enough tickets to sustain how much money they were spending. So they filed for bankruptcy and they abandoned the building. Well, yeah, it's been an eyesore, as mentioned, since 2011. You just see it there the weeds, it, just the condition of it. It's awful to see that, but you guys have some plans. So from what I hear, you guys have secured funds for improvements. Tell us about that. Yes, well, first and foremost, I'd like to thank our mayor, Todd Gloria, and Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs for immediately uh, expediting the security of these funds through uh, a $500,000 federal grant through the appropriations bill, which was signed off by our president. And uh, yes, we're looking to get those funds applied to help with ADA repairs as soon as possible. We've been working with the Balboa Park, uh, Parks and Rec um, Department and our local city officials to get those funds uh, immediately for repairs. So we thank our elected officials and the community that's been behind this initiative. Well, this has been an issue for so long before Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs and Mayor Todd Gloria came forward to help with this financially. Did you find it was a struggle beforehand to try to get those funds to help with the Starlight Bowl? Well, the key is awareness. And so within the first two weeks of Mayor Gloria's uh, uh, work as the mayor began, he came and toured the facility along with other elected officials, Stephen Whitburn, his chief of staff and others, uh, community stakeholders, and they saw the immediate need to secure funds to help revitalize this event. But it has been an ongoing effort. But the key has just been able to, uh, the key here has been to shine a light and to show how important this historical landmark is for those decision makers. Well, this is exciting moving forward, Angelique and Carlton. What are the plans now? How will this look? What is the vision? Well, the vision is, of course, to open this facility and not just as, you know, what people knew before, but more so as a state of the art facility for the entire community to enjoy, for the entire community to call home, because we do really capitalize on inclusivity. Not only do we want these big name shows, which we will have, of course, with 4,000 seats, it's kind of hard not to, but additionally, we want to open up this venue for the community to enjoy via community benefit programming. So part of our business plan and part of being a nonprofit and part of being really in, you know, involved in our community, both Carlton, myself, and the rest of our organization, we want to bring free community benefit programming, not just because you know, people need it, but because schools have you know, ventured a little bit away from the arts, and we kind of want to bring that back. We want to provide internships for students. I mean, I got an email literally last night saying, hey, I go to San Diego State University. I'd like to be an intern here. And I'm like, um, I'm kind of busy, but I will email you back as soon as I can. So it's an opportunity for people, for kids, for our community to come together. And with our organization, we'll be able to do just that. I think this is wonderful. I'm sure many viewers are thinking, oh yeah, the Starlight Bowl. It has been hidden with weeds and everything <laughs> for all these years. And so thankfully with Starlight, Save Starlight, you guys could bring it back and shine light on it. And we'll continue entertaining 
so many people. And it's important to know that although the bowl itself with the 4,000 seats have been inactive, we as a team have been putting on local events in the top Fourier area. So for example, December nights was a success. We brought different local bands in, including CEO's rhythm section and the wild side band uh, to you know, basically let everyone know that we are coming back. You guys are coming back. Yes. Thank you for being here and sharing this great news. Carlton, so good to see you Thank again. Thank you for having us. Yes. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. All right.